We would like to thank our major sponsor, NASA Organic, for supporting Series 1 of Rose Street Pantry. We live in a world that's full of processed foods, where there's a real disconnect between what we eat and where it comes from. As a health professional and journalist, I'm particularly interested in what goes into the foods we eat and the effects that has on our body. And so I love that there's been a real swing back towards small scale food producers here in Australia, because people want to know where their food comes from and how it's produced. And when you know the face behind the food you eat, you can ask questions. And it wasn't until I started engaging with my local producers that I came to realise just how much of an impact soil conditions, changes in climate, sustainable farming practices have on the foods we eat and why eating seasonally is so important. So this is what this series is all about, celebrating Australian producers, hearing their stories, learning their practices, experiencing their beautiful products and encouraging more of you to access real food. On today's episode, we're off to regional Victoria, to a small working farm that embraces true organic practices. Hazeldean Forest Farm specialises in organic apples, apple cider and sparkling wine, and the most delicious apple cider vinegar. Meet Marg, organic farmer and apple extraordinaire. In 1986, Marg and her husband Jason relocated to this spectacular 92 acre property in West Gippsland, establishing a demonstration tree farm to encourage others to grow trees for windbreaks, habitat, firewood, fodder and timber production. Today the property is alive with bees, insects and birds and produces an abundance of fruit all year round. A stark contrast to the original property which was entirely pasture for dairy cows. When we rocked up here we were completely blown away. From the sounds of the birds and the insects to the rolling hills of the Streslecki ranges, this place is a true oasis. And what better way to kick off a shoot than with a glass of sparkles? <laughs> <laughs> this does not want to go out. In this case, apple sparkling, made via method champenoise, using the beautiful organic apples from Marg and Jason's farm. I actually like wish that. that all of our shoots started like this. How nice is this? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Well Cheers. Done. Yes. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. Oh, what a cracking way to start a day. Fabulous way. Perfect. Yes. Any chance yes. to have a glass of sparkles to kick off a shoot? Yeah. We're here. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bug, you yeah. obviously bought the place in 86. Yes. It's so incredibly beautiful. What's it like living out here? It's actually like living in paradise. Mm. There's just so much bird life, the soil is fantastic, so if you're into gardening, yep. it's very exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah You can yeah, grow yeah. from our limes to our avocados, it's, it's just a huge range wow. of food products we can grow here. Oh, that's incredible. So it's a secret. Yeah. Shh, don't tell people where we are. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> and, and Marg, you've got something like 5,000 apple trees here. Yes. I mean, what prompted the move into organic apples? Um, I think it had a lot to do with being young parents and wanting our kids to grow, you know, up well, eating healthy food. Apples is a crop that has a lot of chemicals put on it conventionally, and um, there's something about apples, the Garden of Eden, and we've created the Garden of Eden on Earth, yeah. and we live in it. <laughs> and cause, speaking of chemicals, yeah. you, so you've been certified organic for 30 years yep. 
I mean, over that time, have you seen a real shift towards organic farming? Absolutely. Our neighbours to the east here have gone organic, all the way to the ridge of the Stress Leckies have gone organic, and yes, it's a it's a growing it's a growing industry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I have to say, when 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 we arrived, yeah. and and remember, I just turned to Meredith oh, and I just nice. said, "Look at that view! It's just yeah. so it's beautiful. unbelievably yeah. beautiful out here. Yeah. It's gorgeous, and it's every like at each angle, just stunning, mm. yeah. absolutely stunning. Mm. Yeah. And so, Mark, is it quite the process to becoming certified organic? It's a three-year process. Wow. Um, and so, basically, to be sort of to get certification, you have to be able to prove that you know what you're doing you yep. you know you need to understand how to manage your pest and disease problems yep. without having to use nasty chemicals yep. and how to build your soil the soil is the most important thing in yep. organic farming it's the, the biodiversity in the soil uh, what sort of barriers did you face um i think managing Pasture, weeds, uh, in an orchard you've got a lot of grass, especially in a climate like this, you've got a lot of grass competition. So instead of using a herbicide, we imported a special mower that cuts in between the trees, in the yeah. tree rows. Um, and in a wet climate, we can't use fungicides. So, you know, we're fairly limited in what we can use. And then as far as things like codling moth, we can't use the insecticide, so we have to do monitoring. And um, we've built up the bird population here phenomenally. And the little birds do a lot of work for us. Yeah. And also the little teeny bats too. Wow. Because yeah. you can hear, uh, when, when, it's, when it's completely silent, you can hear the birds in the trees. They're so lovely. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, how, how, how do the birds assist you, I suppose? Well, there's, you, they're insect eating birds. Yes. So with the coddling moth, they mate um, about a metre above the trees, just on dusk. So all the little birds are feeding and the bats yeah. are feeding at that time. And earwigs are very useful for getting little grubs. So my very basic understanding yes. of organic farming is it, that a, a lot of the work goes into the soil and that make the soil really healthy and yeah. really happy and then mm. that's what you're tasting in the produce. Yes, yes. Does that sound about right? Absolutely. Yes. The soil is the premise. It's the key. Yes, yep. okay. yes. So what sort of things do you do to create that beautiful soil? Well, we mow in between, in, like in the tree rows yep. and in between the, the row, in the rows. Yep. But also with the prunings, we mulch the prunings oh. into the ground. So okay. we're actually feeding, constantly feeding the soil. Yes. Yeah. And so with your beautiful apples, yes. obviously I come and get them from you at yes, the market. Yes, at the farmer's market. Which is fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you, what else do you do with them? We make our sparkling. sparkling. Yes. Well, that's important. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yes. Good. And then we also make apple cider vinegar. Yes. Which, I yeah, use which a you lot. use a lot of. Yes. I love it. I love it. Yes. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Yeah. So you've got 40 different types of apples. That's right. That's amazing. How do you choose what sorts to grow? Well, there's 10 varieties that are specifically cider varieties. Oh, okay. And then we wanted varieties that are starting very early in the season. So yep. we start picking at the beginning uh, of February, end of January some years, yep. and we go right through into April. Wow. So in the old days, before cool rooms, orchardists would have all the different varieties ripening all the right. way through the season. Yep. So there wasn't really a need for cool storage. Yep. Um, so we've pretty well replicated that. Yep. And so we'd like to just pick and sell yep. and and store some of the varieties until they're too old right okay yeah. and so they are cool stored they're cool yep. stored yes okay. but they're not treated to make them last yep. a long time in and cool so storage how, like with five thousand trees yes. how many apples do you grow well if you know the size of an apple bin <laughs> 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 which has 400 kilos in roughly, Whoa. 150 of those bins a year, yeah. roughly, wow, yeah. Huge, yes.
Planted between 1988 and 1992, the orchards have been certified organic for over 30 years. Now fully matured, there are variety collections of chestnuts, walnuts, persimmons, peaches and plums, and of course, apples. And until you smell and taste the beautiful produce Marg and Jason grow here, it's difficult to really appreciate just how beneficial their organic practices are, particularly when it comes to flavour. The benefits of having healthy soil and nurtured surrounds is extraordinary. Back in the apple sheds, Marg shows us how to make her apple cider vinegar from scratch. <laughs> so Marg, this yeah. is... Uh... This is the, uh, our mini production line because obviously you make your cider vinegar on such a grand scale. So we're going to start. And it's a long process too. <laughs> and it's a long process. Yes. Uh, and so I know that we're starting here with a base of apple cider. cider. Yes. So for people at home who don't know how you get to this point with the yes. apple cider, yep. can you talk us through that? Yes. So we harvest our apples here and they are crushed into juice and then a yeast is put in yeah. with it and it ferments and we then get cider which we have in here yeah and then to make the ci apple cider vinegar yeah. you put in what is called a mother or a scoby and right okay. and she starts to eat up all the alcohol and um, i let them marinate for a year wow and um, and then you have vinegar. And in and, and, and that 12 month period mm. in which it's sitting with the mother, mm. uh, does that sort of determine the depth of flavour? The longer you leave it, the better the flavour, yes, mm. yes. And because we've got so many different varieties of apples, we've got quite a depth of flavour as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. So shall we get one of your mothers. We'll get a mother out. Yeah, Scoby, and, on, mother. and we'll, yeah. we'll pop her in and we'll oh. go from there. Okay. All right. Look at these beautiful big vats. Yes, they're old milk vats that I collected from dairies that were disused. Because this was a big dairy farming area? Absolutely. The whole area was dairy. Yeah, right. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh. oh there is the big mother. <laughs> oh. It's not pretty. No. no. <laughs> it looks gross, doesn't it? Oh. She's not the most attractive mother kicking about town, no. that's for sure. And a lot of people, you're doing very well. A lot of people are like gagging <laughs> by this point. Really? Yes. Wow. Totally. So do yeah. we now take a tear apart of this? Yes, off? yes, we can start some new. So I'm going to just whip down in here. Okay. All right, here we go. In the way there. Oh God, they're difficult to catch sometimes. Yeah. Oh, come on, Look mother. At Look at this. This is slime. Oh, oh, it looks like snow. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah. But some people eat it. That's supposed to be really nutritional. No. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? Look at this pancake. No, really? Yeah. Come on, I think you should have a taste. Do you think? Really? Yeah. 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 Look, you got to. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, I've had never. I've never had anyone do this. Really? You're very brave. Very oh, brave. I can't but even. You know get it. what? You'll live forever. Oh, you I... can have it first. Really? <laughs> I want to feel it. Does that have a flavour? Oh, Mark. You're going to be sick? Yeah, I'm not into that. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It just tastes like vinegar. Yeah, but I just oh, the texture. Maybe you could fry it up, you know, Isn't put it in. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Calamari? Yeah, calamari, yeah, substitute calamari. Let's vegans, just take this. Yeah, vegans, go. Let's yeah. just take this back over and let's get into the vinegar. Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> so we would put some mother in to the cider and let it start brewing. And so once the mother's in there, mm. that'll spend approximately, what, 12 months, I think we said. Yes, yes. And then that's your apple cider vinegar. That's right. But to actually, to to for the process, I put some cheesecloth or a cloth over this, mm -hmm. and so it's got plenty of air. Yeah, yeah right, so, so it can breathe. breathe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's that. And I was going to show you how I marinate. So what I really like doing is playing mm. around the kitchen with my nice. apple cider vinegar. Yeah. So 
I have been marinating all sorts of things oh, in here. How beautiful. Yeah. So what I've been putting in is chili, lemongrass. Oh, that'd be nice. Apple cider vinegar, of course, and turmeric. Yep. Garlic and rosemary. Oh, yum. I've been putting ginger in yep. as well. And you literally just drop it in? I just pop it in and leave it for a while okay. and the flavour just infuses yep. through it. Beautiful. And then you can put it on your dishes or have, you know, flavoured yep. salad dressing ready oh, to go. Or so add nice. it in with the oils. Yep. yep. Oh, good. Can we do one now? Yeah. Do you want to pop in the garlic? Or I'll pop in the garlic yep. and you grab some oh, rosemary. Fresh rosemary. So nice. I just pop the garlic mm. in. Put the rosemary and what about in. Some mushrooms. I love rosemary. these mushrooms. Yeah, we can put some mushrooms in. Yep. And there you go. Oh, that's Put too the easy. lid on and come back in, I don't know, a month or a yep. week. I, whoops, sorry. Um, we can, yeah, a week later. It looks beautiful too. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh. It is pretty, isn't it? So yeah. people drink the vinegar for sort of medicinal benefits yes, and too, if you don't they? Google it, it's just going to cure everything. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> okay, that'll be handy. Yeah, I've been amazed right. what, what you what can, can find. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, good. I mainly use it in salad dressings, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. um, what else do you use it in for your cooking? Well, with a chilli, I'll put in quite a lot of chilli, so yep. it's quite dense with all the chilli in it. Actually takes the the real sharp heat out. Uh, yep. um, and like, you know, if you make a pumpkin soup or a minestrone soup, wow. just put a bit of that on yep. top to just, you know, give when it that bit of flavour. Yep. Yeah. Or cook with it, like yep. if you're doing mushrooms, fried mushrooms, yep. poaching eggs, just plain oh, vinegar actually. Right. Very good. That'd be lovely. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so fantastic. I've had such a good time. It's oh, great. Wonderful. Thanks thank for coming. You. Yeah. Oh, no, it's been good. No, yeah. thank you, Margaret. It's been you're so good. You're most welcome. Such a yeah. Day. We've loved yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, you'll have to tell me your dishes that you invent out yes. of this. Yes. 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 I know. Yeah. We will. Yeah. 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 With a box of beautiful apples and apple cider vinegar in tow, we make our way back to the bustling streets of Fitzroy. Hi, welcome back to the pantry. We're back. We're back. Um, hmm. So, Two things we're going to, well, a couple of things we're going to make today mm. using all, well, not all of it, but some of the beautiful produce from Hazeldean Forest Farm. Mm. Um, so I'm actually going to make my um, uh, old family recipe, my grandmother's apple turnover. Oh, yum. I'm actually going to do some beautiful, fresh uh, salad dressings mm. with uh, Marg's amazing apple cider vinegar. Perfect. Mm. So let's start with the apples. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So what I'll do is, um, because you're my apprentice. I love being Tom's assistant. Mm. You're going to call the apples okay. and I'm going to do the really strenuous job of adding the other ingredients oh, okay. that are already right. been measured out. Mm. You could use brown sugar um, or raw sugar. Uh, we're also going to add some butter. And then some cinnamon, cinnamon quills. quills. Yep. And then what we're going to do is when Meredith has finished oh, I'll be about half an hour if you'd like to go and pop the kettle on. <laughs> and uh, the apples will be done. <laughs> <laughs> I might even have a drink actually. Oh, oh honestly. If you had on one the job. I mean, one job. On the floor. Oh, my god. We gosh. won't put those in the pot. <laughs> um, and then while Meredith's chopping... Um, the apples, I'm just going to pop them into the pot. Okay. Oh, gee, thanks. Someone's got to do the hard stuff, wow, right? Exactly. Someone's got to be I the mean, driver around here. It's the way you put it in the pot, apparently. Yeah. It makes a difference to the apple turnover. So anyway, we'll just keep chucking the apples in yep. and then we're just going to bung it on the stove and right. just um, cook it down until it's lovely and caramelised and stewed. Okay. Sounds good. Now that the apples are on, let's get into round two, um, which is our, oh, our um, dough. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Thank we you. Are. 
So all of our ingredients are already measured out here just for um, ease. Yes. And uh, so we've got some beautiful rosella um, flour from mm, Woodstock up in Berrigan, which we love. Just some lovely organic raw sugar um, and just some butter, egg, uh, some vanilla. So okay. it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Nan didn't use anything too fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. No. You know? Uh, just going to basically combine all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. I was actually just admiring your beautiful um, rolling pin. Rolling pin. Oh, I got this in. Um, Show everyone your rolling pin. In Hobart. Pin. How beautiful is it? Isn't it beautiful? Is it? Made with beautiful Tasmanian wood. Mm. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's I stunning. Love it. Stunning. Yeah. So I'll let you roll that out. Oh, it feels good, Tom. Does it? Mum used to make a beautiful short pastry. Where we lived, um, we grew lots of blackberries. Oh! And so in blackberry season, she'd make a pastry like this and yeah. make the most amazing blackberry pies. Oh. Yeah. Yum. So. While well, you're rolling that out, mm -hmm. I'm just going to check up on the apples so okay. they're ready to That's go on top. That's a good idea. Okay. All right. How's this? It smells beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, looks perfect. How amazing does that look? Beautiful. Perfect. So then what we're going to do, it's a little bit fiddly and you just don't want to break it. So oh, you use the paper to fold it over. Use the paper and just fold that over like that. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, that looks great, How Tom. How beautiful does that look? Yep. And so a little thing that we've got to do that Nan used to do was she fork off all the edges Perfect. to bind it all. And we just pierce the top and she's good to go. Excellent. Um, but before we do that, Nan would have definitely sprinkled some generous really? amount of sugar over the top. A little bit more sugar. So can you just pass me some oh, of that? Here you go. And now this is for you. Oh, yes, of course. Just so it will caramelise, mm. which is lovely. Perfect. Perfect. Now, let's transfer this across. The baking tray. To the baking tray. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, it's just heavy. Wow. That and looks fantastic, Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yum. And mm. we'll just bung that in the oven at about 180. Okay, for about and, how um, long do you think? Oh, about 40. Okay. Yeah, All we'll right. just watch Good. it as we go. Okay. Um, let's just quickly, before we move on to the dressings, mm. I want to show you a really quick um, salted caramel. Okay. There is only four ingredients. Okay. Maple syrup, cream. Mm. Happy with that. Butter. Butter. Thank you. And salt. Oh, well, there we go. Really. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Perfect. Um, and we're just going to add the ingredients um, one at a time into the pan, and we're just going to heat it up and just combine it all. Okay. Looks okay. beautiful. Sounds yeah. great. Let's go. Ah, oh, looks good. Nice. Looks good. Mm. Okay, so guys, we'll set the salted caramel to the side. Okay. The turnover's in the oven. Let's get on to some of your yummy dressings. Yep. So let's tidy the place up and Alrighty. we'll get going, shall we? Okay, sounds good. Okay, good. One of my faves to make here is a beautiful Asian slaw. And I love making a dressing to go over it. So finely chopped, lots of Asian greens, lots of colour. Our beautiful apple cider vinegar that we got from Marg. Um, some fabulous lime juice. You can use a really good quality olive oil for a dressing. It makes such a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I just put a bit of sugar in there to take the tartness off it. Mm. And for this one, I'm going to use lots of fresh coriander in the salad. So I chop up the stems and I blitz them in the, in the dressing. You can make a big batch of this dressing mm. and keep it in the fridge for ages. Yeah, gorgeous. It's just a lovely thing to have. Perfect. Now at a 
Mm. This looks yummy. It does, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Mm. I, I think Mum would be happy with that. Yes, I think she'd be pretty happy. It looks beautiful. Mm. We, right. Do we use plates for this? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, It'll be a bit more I think polite. we should have the centrepiece. No. Oh, you want the crusty bit. I want the crusty bit. Mm. Beautiful. Can you pass me some sauce? Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> I've outdone myself. You have. That looks amazing. Um, okay, that looks amazing. How good's that? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> it is so yummy. Mm. Mm. Done pretty well, I reckon. Oh my god, that's absolutely divine. Mm. The pastry is just so beautiful. Cheers to Hazeldean. <laughs> And none. Thank you, Hazeldean. Cheers. Thanks, guys. We would like to thank our major sponsor, Nasser Organic, for supporting Series 1 of Rose Street Pantry.